In this super cool geometry problem, we have one circle inside another, and they are concentric circles, which means this circle and this circle have a common center. And this line AB over here is a tangent to the inner circle and the core to the outer circle. And the length of AB is 20. And we need to find the area of the shaded region, which is this entire gold colored region between the two circles. If you would like to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video because we are starting to solve it right now. First, let's draw the radius of the inner circle here, and I'll name it R1. AB is a tangent, and when a tangent intersects with a radius, the angle is always 90 degrees. So we know there is a right angle here, and let's draw the radius of the outer circle here, and name it R2. Now, this radius R1 cuts this tangent AB into two equal parts. So this part is 10, and this part is also 10. We now have a right triangle over here. Its hypotenuse is R2. Its legs are R1 and 10. That means we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. And my son's going to remind us about the Pythagorean theorem now. Go ahead, son. Hello, people. The Pythagorean theorem works only with right triangles. According to the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And can you explain what that means? Yes, the sum of the squares of the shorter sides equals the square of the long side. Thanks for the assistance, son. A and B are the legs of the right triangle. So let's change A squared to R1 squared and B squared to 10 squared. C is the hypotenuse, so let's change C squared to R2 squared. I did the math for you and the result is R2 squared minus R1 squared equals 100. Let's keep this important finding up here. Let's name the area of this outer circle A2. The radius of the outer circle is R2. So we can express the area as pi times R2 squared. And let's name the area of this inner circle A1. The radius of the inner circle is R1. So we can express the area as pi times r1 squared. We are trying to find this area. And it is obvious that it equals the area of the outer circle minus the area of the inner circle. We will now write down an equation to show that. Let's name the shaded area AG because it is gold colored. AG equals A2 minus A1. A2 is pi times r2 squared. So let's bring that down here. And a1 is pi times r1 squared. Let's also bring that down here. We can now express ag as pi times inside brackets r2 squared minus r1 squared. That's great because we already know that r2 squared minus r1 squared is 100. So we can replace everything inside the brackets with simply 100. And we find ag to be 100 pi. That's it people. The area of the gold colored region is 100 pi. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to push the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Have a good day and see you soon.